What up, witches? I have reviewed I Buy Direct glasses before, but I bought more, so you know, there's that. I don't know why I buy so many. Actually, there's a couple more that I'm thinking about buying like in the near future, in the very, very near future, but they're cheap and they're cute and I like glasses. Can you stop? <laughs> okay, anyways, I have three new pairs that I bought that I'm going to do a quick little review on. Obviously, I still wear the chillax if you watch them, you know, these are my favorite glasses still. They are, I don't know, they just, they look the best to me. So if you're looking for trying to get like a pair of glasses that you don't know if they're going to look right on your face or not, chillax looks great on everyone's face. So definitely think about that. And these are the chillax. They definitely look good on everyone and they look good with every head shape, with every hair color, with every anything. And I think they now come in black, uh, this floral pattern and clear and the clear looks really cool. My sister actually has the clear pair and they look great. So the first pair that I bought, I think after, okay, so the first I Buy Direct review I did, I had a pair of small black chillax. These are the large chillax. So I had a pair of small black chillax and those actually broke. I don't know why, just one day it just like, I was at work and like this part just like snapped and then the lens fell out. <laughs> but I was still within the year policy. So I wrote to them and I told them, I sent them a picture of what the glasses looked like and that they broke. And I was able to pick out a new pair. Obviously I just like swapped the money. I think if it costs more then you just pay the difference. But if it costs less, I think you get a refund. And if it costs the same, then it's just an even swap of the glasses, which was great because I, I wanna say I was maybe at like, I had them before like, 10 months before they broke. My cat's being rude. Digging in the litter box, so we're just gonna give him a minute. You did good, you did a good job. <laughs> good job. You did a good job. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, anyways. I forgot what I was freaking saying. The chillax looks good on everyone's face. It looks really, it looks nice. Oh, my Delaware, I mean my, um, you're so rude. <laughs> my small chillax broke and so I was able to swap them with these. And I'm not entirely sure why I got them because these are, I think are my least favorite out of the three. I got these because I thought the floral looked cool and I wanted something in the shape of this, but not this exact glasses. And the reason, you know what, I would like them. The only reason I don't like these is because I like glasses that have that little like nose thing on them, that little adjustable thing. And these are just plastic on Zayback and they're just like that. I don't, I don't like when they're like this. I feel like they're hard, they slide up, they, slide up your face all the time and they're harder to keep where you want them. I don't know. I don't like the way they look, but I mean, I like the way they look. I don't like the way they feel, I guess. I don't like the way they feel on my face. I don't like the way they sit on this area. Okay. Anyways, we're going to test them. So. These are chilling and I want to say these are large. I don't know if it has the size on them, but I'm pretty sure these were a large. So this is chilling in large. Wow, these are really clear. My glasses are dirty. <laughs> these are really clear. Wow, everything's so clear. So typically I like to wear my glasses like somewhere around here on my face. And I feel like with these, they oftentimes will like just slide up to here and nobody wants to wear their glasses like this. Like I would look insane. So I like to wear them like here and it's hard to get them to just stay there sometimes but I do like the way these look these are pretty cute I just don't like the nose thing I wish that these came with the adjustable nose pad thing so maybe I need to find a pair that look like this but have the nose thing on them I don't know what that nose thing is called I should probably look it up but the adjustable nose pad is what I'm going to be referring to it as the next pair I bought, um, I bought because I wanted a metal pair because all of my glasses were plastic and I was like, hmm, I should have a sturdy pair. So I wanna get a metal pair. I really wanted the St. Mitchell's, but the St. Mitchell's are, they're not expensive, but they're on the expensive side for iBuyDirect. Like all of iBuyDirect classes are cheap, but 
in terms of I buy direct, they are the on the more expensive side. So I didn't get those. And instead, I got Bellevue. And they kind of look like the St. Mitchells, but I think they're a little bit smaller than St. Mitchells. I do really like these. I like these most in the winter time because I think they look really good with hats. So in the winter, these are actually my go-to glasses and these are my go-to, the chillax are my go-to any other time of the year. But for when I'm wearing a hat in the winter, I think these look really cute. I like these because they do have the adjustable nose pads and like I said, they feel really sturdy because they're made of metal. And I like the gold too. I think the gold is really cute. I like the way these look. I feel fancy in these. <laughs> When I went to my Christmas party for work, I wore these, or holiday party, I went to my holiday party for work, I wore these because they look fancy, I think. Like, these are cute and all, like, the chillax are cute, but I feel like these are, like, sophisticated and for fancy events, for parties and stuff. So, that's why I like these. These are my professional glasses for job interviews and such and whatnot. That's my professional voice. <laughs> so, I feel like these are definitely one of my favorites. These are my winter favorites, actually. So I'm telling you, take my word for it. They look really good in hats. They look top notch in a hat. The last pair I got, or the last pair that I, yeah, they're the last pair I bought out of this group. They're the last pair I bought. And I got them just because I wanted a round pair of glasses. And I kind of wish that I would have got ones that had rims because I got a round pair that are just rimless. And um, yeah. My thoughts on these are, when I first bought them, I hated them. Oh my gosh, I thought they were the worst things in the world. And I was like, I made a mistake. I should have done this. So I had 14, you have 14 days to like try and then return them if you don't like them. So I was gonna return them in that 14 days, but I forgot. And so I was stuck with them and I didn't like them. And I, I tried them on like three times and I was like, these are the worst things in the world. And I never put them back on after that until like last, like maybe like two weeks ago, I was like, let me just try these out one more time. And I tried them out and I actually like them more now. I'm not gonna say they're ever gonna be like my go-to glasses, but maybe for certain events, I will wear these. And these are actually, oh, Altus. These are Altus. I don't know, I was feeling like I wanted to be Harry Potter or something, but Harry Potter has rims on his glasses. These don't have rims. These actually feel very flimsy. Like I could snap these, this, and with no problem, I could snap it with one hand. Like these feel so flimsy, but this is what they look like. They're a little bit distracting because like you can see, you can kind of see those screws when you put them on. So if they were bigger, I might like them. And if this part wasn't like, if this went out here, like if this was wider, I think I would like them a little bit more. But I do like them more now than when I first had them. And I think the reason for that is when I first bought them, my hair was way shorter because I wasn't growing it out then. I was just leaving it short because I like short hair. So I was just leaving my hair short for the amount of time that I felt like I needed to. And then once I started growing it out again and now it's like up and longer, I think it works better with longer hair. So I'm, I don't know if these, I don't think these glasses work on me personally with short hair because they were not cute at all. They were insane looking. Like I looked like a crazy person, but I think they work a little bit better now that my hair is uh, up now. So there's that at least. It does have the adjustable nose things, but I don't know, maybe I should have had a bigger size. Maybe that's what it is, the size, because they're like really tiny, especially like it doesn't like sit on my nose, like sits like, I feel like it's not sitting where it's supposed to. I'm Harry Potter. What does Harry Potter say? I love Harry Potter. I should know what he says. What, what's the saying he says? I, I can't think of anything he says. I read too many fanfics. I forgot what he says in real life. I really, really do think I'm just gonna get St. Mitchell because they're so cute. And I definitely want another pair of round glasses that have a rim and that are a little bit bigger because I think I think I could pull them off. I don't think I can pull these off so well, but I think that I would be able to pull off a glass a pair of glasses that has a, a bigger um, frame and, I mean, a bigger lens and some actual frames because these whole non-frame things are, this ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because sometimes it kind of looks like you're not even wearing glasses and I like the way glasses look like I like my face with glasses so I'm gonna keep buying them they're like an accessory it's like a cute little accessory to accessorize your outfit if you're feeling professional or you know just like hanging out and getting 
coffee or something. Or if you're going to like a festival and you want to be all cute or you want to go to like a poetry reading and you're like, yeah, do the things. Say the poem. Okay. That's all. Peace.